Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. John. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT, um, did you see no. that in Ecuador, um, things are just off the goddamn rails right now? What? What, what happened in Ecuador, man? So, I'm not familiar. I guess there's like, a, like two large crime organizations, and I don't know if both of their leaders in jail, but one of their leaders... Uh, was in jail, and he broke out of prison. He escaped. He is no longer under incarceration at this time, and they don't know where he is. Well, wait, so he was just a crime leader? Or like, like a crime lord, yeah. Okay, super Rico guy. Yeah, and then... Uh, How did he get out? He broke, I don't know, he broke oh, out of just, prison. He broke out, okay. Yeah, yeah. He broke out. That's the second time, I think, they said he, he escaped from jail. Um, and he's on the run. Very dangerous man. Armed and dangerous. Intent to kill. Bad, bad, bad hombre. So then, like, basically his gang declared war on the country. Um, they, like, they, they, like, stormed a live news broadcast and took the news crew hostage. Uh oh They're kidnapping police and killing oh. people and, like... It's bad. Doesn't it's, doesn't it's real bad. It, it's not Israel bad. <laughs> I, I mean, it's it's a it's no. No. <laughs> you said it's bad. It's Israel bad. I was oh, like, I didn't say no. I said it's real bad, not uh, Israel bad. I you were no, bad. no, no, no. Because this ain't Israel. Well, bad. that is interesting, but because yeah, it was like Israel bad, but no, no, not <laughs> yeah. Israel bad. But uh, like, does it uh, question real quick? Yeah, yeah. I want to get to it, and we're going to talk about it. But doesn't Ecuador have like an army that's supposed to like prevent um, this type of shit from happening? I would imagine they have a military. Yeah. So, uh, getting their D job, folks. Yeah, I mean Mexico has one too. You see how well that works out for them with the cartel. I mean that's very true. But the, this is the thing: is that. Uh, like By country. the way, this is some wonderful tourism footage for Ecuador. If you're watching the YouTube channel, you can see what Ecuador has to offer. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it looks like a beautiful place to visit. So the thing is, is that we have, in this country, we have security guards. Who oh, yeah, those are who top-notch. Who essentially, you know, you know what a security guard does. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? You kids, God no skateboarding. China flashlight. All right, fine. We got security guards and we have police officers. Nobody yes. Fs around with the police, you know. That's pretty, that's up there. Like anybody in this country, you see the police involved, you automatically know you got to behave yourself or there's a chance you could go to jail no matter how much or money you make. Or get shot or whatever. And then you got the military, which is like... Which, if oddly it, enough, I feel like you can like... It's like if, if like the military guys are like more like publicly friendly to people and put up with more yeah, than, than the cops do. Anyway, that's, because, that's because handling us isn't in their jurisdiction. Oh, yeah. They don't have to deal with the public like police officers do. There's already, like, that whole relationship with the police officer civilian. But when it comes to an army person or a military individual or a person who's in the military, as you say, there's almost, like, this air of valor. It's like, we know that you are protecting the country. You're not, you're not, if you see me smack my, my, uh, my, my best friend in the, in the, Panera bread. The guy in the military fatigues isn't going to do anything. The guy in the police officer outfit is going to do something. The guy in the military, he's going to finish his charge lemonade and get the hell out of there. Whoa, nice callback. I pay attention. Yeah. So I just I love the fact is that in this country, even though we may complain about it on a regular, but that we have such a large defense thing because. This isn't going to happen there. Oh, defense budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. defense budget. I'm sorry. Yeah, we, defense program is what I was thinking about. But yeah, I, I just think that it's great that we have such a large defense program that this ain't going to happen to us. Um, the thing no, no. So, some like gang ain't going to just like terrorize the like wall, like Detroit. Yeah, and as far as i can concerned, I don't think the American people would go for some shit like this. Now, <laughs> <laughs> if there was like a cartel in Austin, people would just step out with their guns and just start exactly. handling it themselves, dude. Exactly. They they say a lot about how Americans are spoiled and like have are entitled and whatever. Yeah. But like I really believe to my heart of hearts that if like shit went down in this country, we would unify and march in the goddamn streets with guns and take care of them ourselves. That's so true. And then the second it's over, we go back to killing each other. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The Bloods and the Crips would be in the streets together murdering the cartel and then have a gang fight right afterwards. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing is that it, it, it kind of takes something like that to unify the country. 
It's like, like patriotism t- trumps all, and then as soon as as soon as you don't need to be a patriot anymore, you're like, oh, we're good. We can go back to our petty ass fights. To a certain extent, yes. If you think about the degree of unity that this country was experienced post like uh, 9/11. Oh my God, I went there on 9/11 to go get gas after work because I was working that day. Like everyone was like talking to each other, and I mean, obviously there was a million people at the pumps, but they're like t- strangers were hanging out and talking and high fiving and shit, and I was like, this is so weird. Yeah, but we we're, you know, we we're kind of unified in, like, I guess, the, like, this pseudo-manufactured hate against Muslim people. Like, I remember that was pretty big, too. Oh, yeah. it's It's been, uh, yeah. I mean, if one thing a group can unify around, it's hate. And, uh, look at Chick-fil-A. They unify really well about hate. Look at the NFL. <laughs> there have been people killed because they didn't like the same damn team as you. It's like, come on. <laughs> hey, if you're a Bills fan... No, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, look, <laughs> Michigan fans can eat a dick. They they were national champions, by the way. I don't care about Michigan. They can still eat one, all right? They can eat a big old bag of salty ones, all right? Yeah, they're the champion, though. Uh, Yeah, they can be the champion with a nice, fresh peanuts bag of salty you know who's mini not the champion? dicks. Ohio State. So what are you trying to do here, Joe? I'm just trying trying to troll you a little bit to see how far you take it. That's all. It doesn't work because you're from Ohio, and I know you like Ohio State. I mean, I don't care, but sure. I know you don't like Michigan. I don't not like them. You don't like Michigan. Get out of here. I don't care. You can play it up for the cameras here. (laughs) You you can't side with the Ecuadorian cartel that is uh, Michigan football. I mean, I don't like the Steelers. I mean, look. I don't either. <laughs> Neither one of them. Who, who in this house has a goddamn Steelers jersey, by the way? His name was my name. <laughs> Me have the same first name. Of course I'm going to buy his jersey. Yeah, fair. fair. Uh-oh, the people at home are going to figure oh, out my they real They know name. that you have a jersey of some player from the Steelers. <laughs> God, everyone. It's only it's only about, you know, you only have about yeah, 3,500 names to pick a, from. There's not that many. I could be Jerome. Yeah. I could, could be Jerome. Could or be John. I could. I Your could. real name could be John. No one knows that. I could. I could be uh, Tyler. Hmm. Ben. Ben. I was thinking could Ben. Be ben. Troy. Uh, I could be Troy. He ooh, would play for him for a little ooh, bit. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, Heath. Plexico. Yeah, Plexico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, everybody's figuring out my oh, name's Plexico. It out. Plexico Dynamite. God damn it. <laughs> Plexico. <laughs> that's the wildest shit ever, that that was his legit real name. I mean, you know, I guess that he wasn't from this country. <laughs> uh, I'd, I honestly, I think that Plexico Burris was from this country. I, you know, now I want we should get Plexico Burris's mom on the podcast and ask where she came up with the name because we, we have a better odds of getting her on the podcast than her than her. Because uh, like, isn't Burris like a Jew name or something? Isn't that a Jewish? Or I something? don't know. Don't you can't say it like that. I don't know. What do you mean? You can't say the way I'm not going to say it because I would be in trouble. <laughs> Isn't it a Jew name? Ooh, though? don't say that. What are you talking? That's how they say it. Oh my god! Oh, I'm, I'm not an like anti. That. I'm not an anti-Semite. You and like you Semitic? Ooh, I'm I not... just don't want you to say that type of <laughs> words in the house. I don't like it when you say ooh. <laughs> I don't, don't say ooh in the same room don't as me. Say, don't ever you don't ever go ooh. Ever. Uh, Got me thinking. The Burris of... family name was found in the USA, Canada, and Scotland between Scotland. 1840 and 1920. I don't know if Plaxico has Scottish heritage, but I sure would guess that it doesn't. Yeah, like he, I don't know if he's Scottish. He's like black, right? Yeah, he's a black dude. Yeah, that's weird. I, I, don't would, know. I wouldn't mind my name being Plaxico, I guess. It's not a bad name. I mean, we can tell him it really <laughs> is. You <laughs> are Pla- You're Plaxico Burris. He could, yeah, I mean, yes, I'm Plaxico Burris. <laughs> I've been hiding my identity <laughs> for all of these years because I wanted to see. Know. I wanted to see if we could make it to the top of the pla- of the pa- podcasting game without me telling that I'm a famous without football you t- player. Without telling you my real name, but yes, I am a multi-millionaire Plexico Burris. I used to play for the uh, Giants, the Giants, and I shot myself in the leg in the nightclub. Shit, I gotta admit <laughs> to all of this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh shit! Get us out of here. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas Plexico here. <laughs> We're out. <laughs>